What if you were in the UFC and you could decide every single title fight that will happen next? I'm sure you MMA fans have insane fights in mind for 2019. And I have some suggestions for you. First, the easiest. With DJ gone, the flyweight division is really not in the best shape of its life. Henry Cejudo has only one fight, TJ Dillashaw, and it's already happening. The better side. As we said, TJ Dillashaw is fighting Henry, and if he wins, you serious? Marlon Moraes should be next. It's not the biggest fight ever, but he cannot put Cody again. Dom is out in inactive. Rafael lost to TJ, so Marlon Moraes should be the biggest test for him, and honestly, that's a fight I want to see. Now the featherweights. Few options now. Frankie Edgar is there, but Max is the nightmarest of matchups for him. So if you take him out, Renato Marcano is in the mix, especially if he wins against Aldo. But what I want to see is Max Holloway versus Zabit Magomed Sharipov. I know, Zabit is number 14, but he is fighting Stevens in a couple weeks, who's number 6. If he wins this, and he very well might, I want to see him fight Max. Next, the lightweights. Probably the strongest division in the UFC. There are lots of fights to make and so many huge potential main events. Habib versus Tony could be insane. I don't think anyone doesn't want to see it. But Habib and his team seem to be unsure about this fight. The UFC could do something pretty crazy also. But somebody gets in the way. Tyron Woodley. It may sound crazy as hell, but I think that the UFC wanted Darren Till to win, which is not a secret, but they wanted him to win against Woodley to move welterweight to 175 pounds. That would have been perfect for the gorilla, who's simply huge for 170. So 175 could have been the perfect division for him. And then, the 165 pound division would have been the next obvious step then what fight do you make for the 165 pound title? Habib versus GSP. That would be so sick, I can't even tell you. GSP could be the first three division champ and Habib could become the greatest ever. Now imagine this fight in Russia. And if that happens, you need an interim title, of course, for the 155 pound division. Tony, of course, is a no brainer for this fight. But against who? Connor and Dustin are both great options. But what do you think? Assuming none of this happens and the welterweight division stays at 170 for a long time, who should fight Woodley? Personally, I'd like to see Usman more than Colby, just because it's such a nice matchup. Both Woodley and Usman are complete athletes and don't have many weaknesses. But then again, seeing Colby Covington would be pretty nice. In the next video, we will talk about the women's divisions and of course, middleweight, light heavyweight and heavyweight.